Yo, what's up? This is Kenny. Welcome back to the channel. Got a fun tutorial today, so I'm gonna try to be quick with the intro. So shout out to all the subscribers. We just hit over 100, so we growing. So we're gonna continue to grow together. I got a fun tutorial, and we're gonna be making something like this using a 100% cotton shirt. This is Gritty Glitter HTV. So we actually gonna create a, a full design. Tack it onto the shirt, sublimate it onto the shirt, all that. So you wanna stick to the end. So that way you can add this to your sublimation arsenal. And if you're new to the channel, just go ahead and subscribe. I got a playlist ready for you, all about sublimation content. Smash the like button, drop some comments. That way it can help spread the word. You know, you got any questions, I'll definitely answer them in a timely manner. So let me be quiet, just hop on the computer and get started. All right, so we on the computer. So if you don't have Photo P saved to your desktop, like an app icon, basically you can go to any web browser, Google Chrome, Windows, Firefox, and type in Photo P, spell it right there, Photo P, dot com and then once you hit dot com it should bring you I'm gonna get myself out the way it should bring you to this screen that we are and this is what we're going to be using to create our design and also we're going to be using this to get our image on there that way we can start printing that out so once you got photo piece loaded up look to the top left is file I'm clicking on file so once you click on file you should see new click on new and this window will pop up and it'll have the name new project you can name it whatever you want for this demonstration I'm going to be naming it ocean drive right underneath the name is pixels right is the width so we're gonna change the pixels to inches. And the reason why I like to do it this way is because I know what sublimation size paper I'm using, uh, the size of my heat press, and also this, this is the size of the printout as well. So it's already set up for me. If you use the eight and a half by 11, basically you'll type in 8.5, then hit the tab to you hit height 11 but I'm using 11 by 17 but I'm just going to keep it 11 14 for this demonstration and then right below the DPI you should see background it should already be white so click down arrow and you'll see black transparent and custom you want to click on transparent once you click on transparent for the background, click create. And you should have a canvas like this. This is your transparent background. So to the left underneath the file is all these tools. Okay, if you see the, the tools that being highlighted, all right, what you wanna do is click on the type tool. You just gotta click on it one time. Once you click on the type tool, go back to the top menu bar and underneath filter and view is the size it should be at 25 so if it's at 25 just move the arrow already to the right so you get 150 pixels and it doesn't matter the size but just make it 150 you want to make it as big so that way when you're using the type tool you can see the font now to the left underneath select is regular and then right underneath image is the font name if you click on the down arrow it got all these fonts so, and it should be in alphabetical order so it's loading up for me all right and you'll see all these check marks and then you'll see fine for this demonstration i'm going to be using this big font right here called Titan one and 
and the preview is going to show how thick the font is. So you want the biggest, fattest font for this demonstration. And also you want a solid font. So that way when you sublimate onto this text, you actually give it some life. So just click on Titan 1 for the demonstration. If you find another font that's thick, just keep in mind you got to weed that stuff out from the final. So now what we want to do is click, you can click anywhere, but starting from the top left hand corner on the canvas, just do a left click, hold down, and you're going to draw your text box. So I'm going to do ocean, and it doesn't matter where it is, okay? And if you look to the right, once you click on the layer, the text layer is going to change to ocean. So on the right hand side on your screen, you should see the background and then you should see ocean. Okay, that's our first text. So one thing we don't want to do is press enter and then keep typing. You won't be able to see it, then you got to stretch out the box. Then it leaves a big old space and you won't be able to man uh, manipulate the text by itself. So we're gonna do one word at a time and you can do it however you want. You wanna do one word, stretch out the whole word, but for this demonstration, just follow along and you'll see what I'm talking about. And if you make a mistake, go back to the top menu bar where it says edit and you can click on do and it'll take that away. So back to the tools on the left hand side, just click on the letter T again, draw your text box, you can type in whatever you want, okay? Click on the letter T again, draw your little box, I'm just gonna do an underscore, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, draw the letter T again, draw a box, type in whatever you want. Click it on the letter T again, draw in the box, and you can type in whatever you want. Now to move this stuff around, go back to the file, top left, and right underneath the T is the mouse cursor. If you hover over it, it's called the move tool. Okay, if you're looking on the left hand side near the top, the move tool, click on that, and look back to your right. The layer is selected, which is beach. So I can move the beach. And if you move it to the center, you will have a red line that's going straight through the letter or the font. Okay, that's your center point. So I'm gonna click on the south layer, move this to the middle. Clicking on the underscore, and you can actually just do this design on this. I'm gonna find the center. Now, if you see the cross, you see a red cross, that's the center of your canvas. Clicking on drive, so let's move to the center. Clicking on the ocean layer, and I'm gonna move that to the center. So bring this up right about there. Click on drive and bring this down right about there. Ocean. About there. Beach. Bring it all the way down. It's right about there. Now for the corners and the sides, I leave about two, uh, two of these gray and white uh, squares as my measurement tool, like the border around your image, just in case if you have the border set up for your printer, your print settings, and also the Cricut has some kind of little border they like to do to keep the cut. So you see what I'm talking about when I start with beach. So make sure that the whatever you wanna manipulate I'm gonna start from the top, go to the bottom. So beach is the layer selected. What I'm gonna do is to the right, 
So I'm gonna start from the top to the bottom. I'm gonna go to edit on the top left, next to file, edit. And, and we're gonna find free transform. Click on that. And you wanna see these little squares around the box. Now you want the white up and down arrow or the diagonal arrow. That way you can start stretching out your text. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now I'm gonna click on the south layer. Go to edit, free transform, and stretch this bad boy out. pixels from the edge on each side bring this down a little bit I'm gonna click on the next layer underscore go to edit free transform and if you got something small like this just be very careful so we're gonna go to the two pixels right about there and stretch it out left to right and this is optional you don't have to do this but if you want a quick line you can do this go to the next layer drive go back to edit free transform stretch this out go to the last layer which is ocean Go to edit, free transform, and we want to make this big too. So once you got to stretch out, now you can go to each layer and make your adjustments. Um, it looks pretty good to me. I'm probably going to bring this down a notch. Go to drive, go to edit. Bring that up just a little bit to try to use as much real estate on the canvas that we can. So that looks good. The underscore for the south looks good for the beach. I'm going to make beach just a little bigger. There it is. So once you get your text done big text and you finish uh, adjusting the size and everything go to file and we're going to export this as a png okay you don't want svg any of these other files we want the file that we manipulated png just click on that it's going to say everything right there disregard it just click save no worries and it's going to drop down to your save folder and you can always find this in your files uh, folder manager now what we're going to do is go back to file create new and since you already got your setup for whatever size that you're going to be working with you're going to add pick to the name so i know which file it is click create now we actually want to find our image so we're going to make this image fit into this canvas now what you want to do is pull up google okay so we want to go to google chrome and i'm going to type in ocean drive So once you hit the Google, just click on images. You should see it at the top. Click on images. It's going to bring up all the images. And then to the right, where it says all images, map news, video, more, you should see tools. Click on tools. And then it should bring down some more options. You want to click on size and you want to click on large. 
want the largest image. So once that reloads, now you can continue looking for an image. Um, just be careful, some of these are videos and some of these are products. So we just wanna try to find a cool image. Let's see how big this is. That's pretty colorful. 1440 by 900. Nah, it's a little too small for me. I'm gonna find some. Oh, that got license on it. There we go. So this image is 1937 by 1453 pixels. It looks good. So this for demonstration purposes, we're gonna save it. I'm gonna right click on it. I'm not sure if you see this box, but you can save image as the type of ocean drive. Click save. And it should bring down the file right here. What you want to do is minimize this. Okay, so you're going to minimize it, and that file at the bottom, you're going to drag it. So you're going to left click on it and drag it onto Photo P. Once the image is up, you should see it right there. And it's gonna have these boxes already, so be careful. Um, if you accidentally hit something to where it doesn't show the boxes no more, just make sure on the right hand side um, that layer, that picture layer is highlighted. And you can always go back to edit and free transform just like we did the text now for the pictures you want to stretch it out from the corners okay so you want to make sure you get the little up and down arrow on the corners and you want to just drag it up and then you can go to the opposite corner and drag it down now Go back to file and click on the move tool, okay? The mouse cursor on the left hand side, the move tool. And you can actually move this around to where you want it to. So I'm just gonna go back to edit, free transform. Actually move this to the side a little bit. I see there's a lot of black. Free transform, and I want to bring this further down. There we go. Click on the move tool, and you can adjust adjust the picture however you want. So I think that looks good right there. Some palm trees in there. Now we're going to hit the file and we're going to export this as a PNG. It's going to bring up the window and click on save and now you have your picture. So the picture is going to go to the sublimation printer that you have and the ocean drive text is going to go to the cricket. All right. Now, for those that have Cricut, you can go ahead and just open up your Cricut design space and go ahead and upload your image. So you can 
click the browse button or your files manager actually mine's underneath downloads clicking on downloads uploaded the image and contrast colors I really don't think it makes a difference so you can leave it on simple because this is, this is, has no picture behind it and you can click continue and we want to click continue cut image oh yeah we're going to do the cut image click upload oh actually go back to upload insert image and there it is so this is your top layer it has the width width of 10.341 and the height is 13 23 so right here I'm clicking at is the height and width so what I'm going to do is just drag this over to the top and I'm going to make it I'm going to make the width 10.5 hit enter so now I know the width is is 10 and a half inches wide the height is pretty good 13 just in case the cricket gets that little border space from the edge. We'll pause, and that way we can set up the cricket. All right, one thing I did forget, also it's very important, is your mat too. So this mat is actually 12 by 12. This is what usually comes with the cricket. But since I'm doing 11 by 14, I got the bigger mat right here. So we're gonna load up this right here, the vinyl. And you want the glitter side facing down Get my image printed and we're just going to go back to the Cricut to make sure it's 10.5, 13.35, that's 13.36. So I need 13.43. So 13.43. Five. So let's go ahead and print. And this is Silhouette Studio, y'all. Check it out right there. Oops. It's free software. And when, when you hit print, go to find your printer. I always go to preferences, make sure that my presets is good. Hit okay, hit print. We're gonna set that up in a minute. So we're gonna 
gonna set up our heat press. We're gonna set it to 385, 45 seconds. So that way we can get that heat up. So this is our shirt, this is the gilding. Heavy cotton. 100% this is a shirt that we're going to be using We got the printer going we got the heat press set up now we're going to set up the Cricut This right here is a weeding tool for the vinyl once it prints out that way we can take off the access so definitely you'll need one of these. Uh, this one the cricket kind. So yeah, that's the cricket. So going back to the computer. Let's go ahead and hit make it on the top right. Right, hit OK because we know we got the Big Mac right here underneath the material size right about there we're going to mirror it just like sublimation and then at the bottom right we'll hit continue Now, I have it saved as premium vinyl frosted glitter. To find that, you gotta make sure your Cricut is set to custom, not the vinyl. See where it says vinyl right there? You wanna set to custom. So once you have that set to custom, Go back to your little Cricut space, browse all materials, and you're just gonna scroll all the way down to you find vinyl, and you have premium, and then you see the premium frosted glitter, and if you hit that little star, you can save it as a favorite. Hit done at the bottom right. Your pressure, I just leave it as default. Now that's ready. You go back to your Cricut. Make sure that your mat is inside, pushed in all the way. And then you're gonna hit this button. And then for the Cricut users, hit the C. Just want to make sure you need some space right here because you don't want the mat to be hitting against the wall. Got the image printed. It's gonna cut off some access right here. Press the blink, uh, the blink of light right here.
now I'm going to uh, weed this out right here. They call it weeding. So you're going to take your weeding tool. And actually we did pretty good using the real estate. You always want to start at the corner. So let's go ahead in this. And then you see the plastic part. Make sure, I always make sure I have trash can next to me because you don't want, when you start taking this off right here, you don't want this access to be sticking back to your, to the plastic part. Now the key thing, like letter A's and the O's, you can barely see where it is. It's probably hard to see on the camera. They call them cavities. But you wanna make sure you double check all your letters. I could have made this bigger, but this is good. Now we're gonna take this over, pre-press the shirt, tack this on, and sublimate our image over this. Got our shirt right here laid out. We're gonna do the, the three fingers. Actually, we'll do the four. Give it a slight pre-press. Do it for five seconds. <laughs> now we're just gonna line up our image. Now we're just gonna tack this down for three seconds. It's gonna be a hot pill. We'll lay my image right over this right here. It's going to take down the four corners. Since this is a 100% cotton shirt, we do not need the butcher paper for the shirt. Let's just say you had a lighter color shirt. Whatever sublimation ink that spills over, it's gonna wash out. Go ahead and put our butcher paper, our Teflon sheet, and we're gonna press this for 385 for 45 seconds.
why it's always good to fold the tape. There it is. But well, yeah, there it is. Got the shirt on. I mean, it came out pretty good. Ocean Drive, South Beach. Now I see a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little flow right there. But you get the point. I mean, it came out pretty good. Pretty vibrant. So definitely um, just a few tweaks. So, you know, you just gotta keep in mind your measurements with bigger paper. Obviously you, you, you wanna scale down. So that way, you know, you won't be messing up your design. So when you put your image over it, you know, it's gonna cover everything. Basically you don't wanna have any, any gaps like this. So you, you can see the little mistakes. Also, but for the most part, you got the point. This is also creating something, you know, you can add to your sublimation. So the more practice, the more perfect. Uh, we got the job done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. But this is the full tutorial. You know, you can put your mind to anything you want to and actually create text designs on dark color t-shirts with sublimation so catch you next time peace stay blessed and also stay true one